Who's ready to get spooky? <laughs> Welcome back, it is time for the October edition of TV Cluedo! It's one of God's masterpieces. If you don't know, this is my TBR game inspired by Cluedo or Clue if you're American, but I call it Cluedo. If you've never seen TBR Cluedo, I will leave the link down below to the playlist and to the first video where I go through all the rules, everything you need to know. But if you do know how it goes, hello, welcome back. I'm so excited. These are my favorite videos to film. I just love this game so much. I just love it so much. I'm so excited for this month. October, I've never, okay, <laughs> I've never felt so excited for spooky season. I've never, like, here's the thing. Seasonal depression. Seasonal depression. Seasonal depression. So when it starts getting darker, not my favorite thing. But this this year I just feel a lot more excited for the autumnal kind of vibe more than I ever really have. So I'm looking forward to it. So I want to read loads of spooky books this month. Lots of horror books that I want to read that I want to try and fit on this TBR. Lots of murder mysteries I would quite like to read. It's the season. It is the season for murder mysteries and for horror. Just before we get into it I wasn't able to show you these last month because we hadn't finished making them yet but I wanted to show you the TBR Cluedo books that my patrons will get if you join the Rora tier. Aren't they so cute? So this is going to be the next pair that goes out to whoever signs up next. Then this is the pair after. They come in loads of colours, there's like golds, greens, but you get one number, which is the number that you were to join the tier, and you get a book with a paw print on it, and they're little books. Aren't they just so cute? Jeez. <laughs> In other good news, I can now use the rose prompt. I don't know if you can see, but this is entirely filled <laughs> with book recommendations or books that my patrons have picked. So all my patrons, when they join, they can pick two books off of my TBR that they want me to read. And then if I choose the rose weapon in the game, I randomly pick a book out of here and it is so full, but I'm excited. I wanna try and, and get that in this round. In terms of how I did with September's TBR, I had these five books plus the audiobook for Other Words for Home on it. I have read these three and Other Words for Home already. I am currently reading Nancy Drew, The Bungalow Mystery, and I will finish this today. And I have not yet started A Song of Race and Ruin, but I have to read this by the end of the month. I'm currently filming this on the 26th. I have to finish this by the end of the month because the video that it's for has to go up in September. So I will definitely read this. So I'm not gonna take a punishment this month. If for some reason I do not finish A Song of Race and Ruin, I will take a punishment. I'll let you know in a vlog, but I think we're gonna be fine. I don't think we have anything to worry about. So without further ado, I think it's time we get into the first roll and see how kind TBR Cluedo is to me this month. So, here's roll one. <laughs> the fact that I only have two books in horror and this month I wanna read so much horror is gonna be so hard, but I really wanna try and use the rose prompt today. I really wanna try and get that so my patrons can pick a book. Okay, first roll. Okay, we've got person number three, which is red. And let's see how many things we can roll. Okay, we've got a two and a six. I'm hoping I can get into horror with that. So let's see, so that's eight. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, great. So that is number 27, which is a book rated three stars on Goodreads. Okay, so roll one was a horror rated three stars on Goodreads. So this is any horror that is rated three point something on Goodreads. And this is actually the round that I chose for my patrons to vote on. So if you don't know, my patrons every month will vote on one round of TBR Cluedo and that book will become our book club book for the month and they'll get a live show for it, an exclusive reading vlog for it. I knew I wanted to try and have our book club book this month be a horror. So the choices that I gave them were Pine by Francine Two. Horrid by Katrina Leno, The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starling, and Hashtag Murder Trending by Gretchen McNeil. And it was pretty neck and neck between these two for the whole vote, but in the end, Hashtag Murder Trending pulled ahead. Well, she tried. At least, you know, she 
So I am really excited to read this. This is a dystopian horror. And this one is about these executions that are live streamed and voted on. So it's kind of mixed media. It's got like tweets. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's got like tweets where people are like talking about who should be killed, who should be executed in this game show. That's all I really know about it, but I'm really excited to start this series. And I'm really excited to read this with my patrons as our book club book for October. I think it's gonna be a bit different, anything I've read before, because A, I don't read a lot of horror, and B, I don't read a lot of dystopian style stuff. So I'm excited. I've wanted to get into this series for pretty much like the whole year. I've been wanting to start this, so I'm glad that my patrons finally gave me a kick up the ass and I'm gonna read it. My patrons getting sick of me saying I am going to read this for months and finally making me read it. Bye. You've been a great out today. That's all right. Thank you. Bye. She hadn't done fucking shit for the last couple of days. I feel like it's going to be very black mirror-y, very funny. I've heard it's just kind of like a fun, well, as fun as executions can be, but like a fun, rompy kind of horror thriller kind of thing. So really excited to read this in October. Okay, time for roll two. Person number one, which is green. Okay, so we're basically in the horror room again. <laughs> Get our two horror rolls out of the way first, I guess. And then let's roll this. Okay, we've got nine that time. I think let's try and just get that other horror whilst we're here. <laughs> so, oh, I can use three or six, because I don't have to use the combo. So I could use six. Let's go one, two, uh, Three, four, no. <laughs> one, two, three, four, no. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, no. <laughs> I don't know if I can get there in six. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. All right, let's try with nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we did it. <laughs> And that is number 19, which is a book I've hauled recently. So roll two was a horror that I have hauled recently. I wanted to make sure I got both the horror prompts that I could in this round. I've hauled a lot of horror recently, and the one I've chosen is the most recent horror book that I have hauled. So recent I haven't actually had a chance to include it in a haul video yet, and it is White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. If you follow me on like Twitter, I've been speaking about this a lot, but this is like one of my most anticipated releases of the year. It's this haunted house horror. I am just so excited. I've always wanted to read Tiffany D. Jackson's stuff, and now I'm going to. I think it's just going to be like very psychological, crazy. I've always wanted to read haunted house stuff. The idea of like a haunted house book excites me. I'm just really excited for the suspense that this book is going to build. So this copy was very kindly sent to me. I think it is out definitely in the US now. I'm not sure if it is quite out in the UK now, but I'm just so excited to read this in October. I feel like this is the number one book I wanted to make sure I read in October. So I was very lucky that a prompt led itself to that. Hey. <laughs> Success. Very, very excited to read this in October. Okay, roll three. Person number five, which is white. Oh my God, okay, we're down here. <laughs> okay, let's see how many things we roll. A four and a four. Oh, can we get to the rose prompt with that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, shit. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Okay, so I've never actually used the stairs yet, but the rule is I have to go one, two, three, count another thing, four, because it has to use up a, a roll to get there. So maybe that will work. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, we did it. Woo! Okay, so we got the rose prompt. Okay, so for roll three, I got the rose weapon. I am so excited, but I'm honestly shitting myself. I am shitting myself. I'm nervous <laughs> because there's so many different books in here. I have no idea what it's going to be. Okay, so I'm going to give it a good shake. <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying to... Oh, there's ones falling out. I'm trying to get to one deep down. Okay. Oh my God, I'm ne so nervous. What is it? What is that? Hunting Prince Dracula? Oh my god! <laughs> you may say I'm a dreamer. Okay, so I was like, 
what? And that is so lucky because I already was kind of thinking about reading this this month. I wasn't sure because I have not read the first book, Stalking Jack the Ripper, in like two years. But I remember last October, November, I really wanted to read Hunting Prince Dracula, but I didn't own it then. And then kind of the time passed, but I feel like it's very much like an autumnal book. I cannot believe how lucky I've got. So let me find out who, what patrons submitted Hunting Prince Dracula. I don't think it was a super popular one that a lot of people said. Okay, so it was only one patron submitted Hunting Prince Dracula, which is crazy because there's quite a lot of books that like five people submitted, but one person submitted Hunting Prince Dracula and it was Nikki. So Nikki, I am reading this thanks to you this month. I am just so excited. Oh my God, it just feels so autumnal, so exciting. I read Stalking Jack the Ripper two years ago, so it's been a while since I was in this book universe, but I think it's gonna be quite an easy series to pick back up again, because it's not exactly the most complex. So in this, we're following Audrey Rose Wadsworth and Thomas Cresswell and their kind of relationship. And in the first one, they're trying to figure out who Jack the Ripper is. It's set in Victorian England, which, my favorite and then I think this one obviously they're gonna be hunting down Prince Dracula and I'm so excited to get back into this Victorian autumnal kind of spooky kind of creepy world oh my god Nikki you've done me a fucking solid you've done me a solid I am just so excited oh I, I forgot how much I loved the pictures in this book kind of like just brings the vibe alive oh my god I am so happy I am so so happy I want to jump up and down I want to do a dance and then I want to have the glass of champagne that I put in the fridge last night what a good pick the patrons pulled through with the rose front I am so happy ah I'm so excited this is on my list okay roll number four already oh my god okay roll number four five is that this is that white again Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, we've got white again. And let's see what we roll. A eight again. Okay. I don't have much fantasy I want to read this month, if I'm honest. I might actually go back, after all of that, I might actually go back into the romance room. After all that effort, I think I may go back into the romance room because I actually have barely got any like fantasy fantasy on my TBR. I mean, I could read some. But I think I'm leaning towards more romance. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> which is number six. And that is something with white on the cover. Okay, so for roll four, we got a romance, which, you know, I don't read a lot of them, with white on the cover. And for this, I have actually chosen The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. Now, I was not planning on reading this book. <laughs> I was not planning on reading it, but I am actually excited to. It is a book of the month book, which I didn't think this would be the first book of the month book that I have that I read, but it is. I think it's about these two scientists and one's a PhD candidate, one's a young young professor, which like I've heard some people talk about the power, power balance there, but I think a lot of people you know, the PhD candidate is like mature and the professor is very young and she's not his PhD student, so it's not like they're each other's teacher and student, but I've actually heard really good things about this. A lot of people have been reading it and I have heard only good things. I haven't heard anyone dislike it. So maybe this will be a romance I love. Who knows, who knows, who knows, but we're gonna be reading it this month. All right, roll five already, we're almost there. Person number eight, which is blue. Oh my God, I can't escape fantasy. <laughs> I don't think, I think we're gonna have to read fantasy, something that's fantastical. Let's roll this. Oh my God, that was, that was crazy. Oh, okay, interestingly, we rolled a double, which means I can move that much and go again. <laughs> but what I really wanna read this month, it's up here, Mysteries and Historicals. I've got a lot of them that I wanna read this month. So how far can we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, we're gonna do that. <laughs> and we're gonna roll again. Oh, we got seven, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got that one. And that is number five. Roll five, number five. Oh, okay, that's something with blue on the cover. Roll five was a mystery with blue on the cover. And for this, I have chosen Dead Dead Girls by Nikiza Afia. Shit. 
<laughs> no, hang on a minute. I like this. Oh my god! So the font is blue. She's wearing a blue dress. There's lots of blue. I feel like the whole cover is like tonally blue. I think it's fine. <laughs> So I am so excited to read this. This has been one of my number one, like most anticipated books to get to. It's set in 1920s Harlem and young black girls are going missing. And our main character kind of takes it upon herself to um, investigate it and figure out what's going on. Now, a number one thing to say, this is not a cozy mystery. This is dark. I think it goes into a lot of very, very dark subjects. The kind of cover makes it look a bit cozy. I feel like the kind of illustration style, but it's not, it's a very, dark series but I'm just so excited. I bought this from the recommendation of Mara from Books Like Woe. She has been a number one person I've been going to for like my mystery recommendations so I am very excited that I got this on my TBR for this month. Oh my god I hope I love it. If I love this I will just oh this is like a five star prediction. I really I really hope I'm gonna love it. Time for our last roll. Person number seven which is brown. Where's brown? Oh, in mystery again. Okay, that's great. And then let's roll this. A seven again, a three or a four. Let's maybe just go one, two, three, four. Yeah? And that's number, what is that? 18, number 18. The longest title. And then roll six, the last round was a mystery with the longest title. So I went on my Goodreads shelf for my mysteries and the longest titles, there was a couple of them, they all had six words. So I just chose one of them that I wanted to read, one of the titles with six words. And it is Marion Lane and the Midnight Murder by T.A. Wahlberg. This is another one of, it's another 2021 new release that I have just been so excited to get to. I remember, I was doing one of my last uni projects and I bought this like as a reward for myself for finishing it because I was at that point in at the end of uni when I was just so stressed <laughs> and like really really struggling so um, I bought this for myself as a reward it's about this like group of private detectives and there's this like underground labyrinth in London that they use to like move from different parts of London to the other I also believe it's a locked room murder mystery like I think there's a murder in this locked room and Marion Lane I think starts out as like a secretary or an apprentice and um, she is trying to figure out what happened and I'm so excited it's another like five star prediction both of these I am just like I am so excited to read I'm really hoping I'm gonna love them and I'm really excited to get into like more like murder mystery both historical murder mysteries as well I do love my historical murder mysteries so I'm super excited to get to these this month so there we have it that is my TBR for October a few larger books but I'm so excited to read all of these I feel like this is such a good October uh, TBR. Let me know if you've read any of these or the ones you are most excited to read. I'm so excited for all of them. I generally think this is such a good October TBR. I'm so happy. I feel like the board treated me really well. I feel like it was very kind to me. I can't believe how lucky I got with the Rose prompt. That was a book I was already debating reading in October. So I am just so happy. If you've gotten to the end, comment the snake emoji because there's a lot of snakes on this cover and I'm intrigued to find out why. Why are there snakes? <laughs> so yeah, comment a snake emoji down below if you've gotten to the end. Thank you so much for all your support with TBR Kudo. I absolutely love making it. Thank you to my patrons as well. Shout out to you. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.